Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for Amp Creator. Today what I'm going to be doing is basically showing you how to make nether plants. Uh, basically a plant element that you can basically spawn in the nether. So uh, I was going to do key plants today as well but uh, there's been some changes with 1.8 that kind of uh, possibly made uh, testing for cave air a little bit impossible, so we're not going to be doing that today until I can figure out exactly the settings and stuff that we need to get that to all work. But uh, I can do the nether plants today, so I will do that right now. Uh, if we go to the nether and just execute that command, we can go to the nether and then we'll spawn somewhere down here. Not sure where, where we are. Uh, let's go into spectator. Uh, Game mode spectator and then we can kind of fly out of here and see where we are all right so you can see that some of these plants here are basically generating and they will generate all over the biomes um, throughout the world they should uh, also spawn in these world or these biomes as well if I remember correctly so all we need to do is basically kind of check around, make sure that some of these plants are growing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed this part up. Um, yeah, there's some right here. So here's some of those plants. Uh, you can see those ones right there. And uh, let's see if we can't find a crimson biome. They should also spawn in the deltas as well. I have them set to do that. Let's see if we can't find a crimson biome. Just kind of fly through here in spectator mode. Okay, so here's a uh, delta. Might be able to see if some of them spawn up here. All right, there's some right there. So you can see they spawn on those blocks as well. Uh, let's just keep flying around and see if we can't find crimson. Uh, they should spawn in the regular biomes and wastes, I think, as well. So there's some over here. I'm not sure if that's technically in the basin or if it's in the thing, but you can see that they spawn on those blocks. And just fly over around, around here. Um, kind of just try to find some other ones. All right, so they do spawn in these biomes here and kind of see how they spawned. Uh, the only other biome that we have is the crimson. I'm not sure if we'll find one. Oddly enough, they're pretty common, but we're having troubles finding it. Let's see if we can't go this way. We could do the locate biome thing, but... I don't know. Okay, here's one. Alright, so... As you can see, they also generate in the crimson biome. There's a few right there. Uh, there'll probably be some more around somewhere. Uh, let's see where else. Uh, those are the mushrooms. Check up here, maybe. Okay, there's a, another one right there. A single one. A little bit more rare, but... Um, it's just the way it is uh, for the generation because it's in the nether biome and there's other plants and stuff in these particular biomes but as you can see they do generate and uh, let's go into Crater now and we'll just quickly see how I have it set up uh, again this is all thanks to uh, the developer on for Crater called someone else so um, He's actually taken the time to figure it out and stuff like that, so I was able to quickly do a tutorial on it. Alright, so in M Crater, um, what we have is just the plant element. I'm just going to wait for this to close out so I don't use so much of the GPU up. And then we'll open up the nether plants in just a second. I'll wait for this to just stop. I'll cut back in when it's done. Right, so what we have is the single plant we these are the cave ones that I'm working on those we won't do a tutorial on today again uh, we just want to focus on the nether plant which is just the plant element so basically I've set the plant texture for the actual type it's a static plant so you can set that for that 
Uh, flower generation should work uh, fine, so you would want to set it to that. And then the if you want to add particle effects for specifying the particle effect and uh, texture for the item, then you want to select those two things here. Other than that, you can basically just move on to the next tab. Uh, you don't necessarily need to change anything here. Uh, part of, uh, properties, uh, pretty much the same settings. You can change anything about this as you want. And then this is where the changes start to take effect. So under this particular um, section, what you want to do to make sure that the blo blocks can be, uh, the plant can basically basically be um, generated on is you want to select the blocks in the world that you want it to generate on. For example, um, blackstone, nether rock, um, warped, Nilium, uh, crimson nilium, soul sand, soul soil, and then basalt have been all specified for the nether uh, soil types. So that's why they're able to generate on any of those blocks. Uh, you can add additional pa uh, placing conditions, but that might uh, make it a little more um, rarer for it to actually spawn. So you might want to leave that blank just for your testing purposes until you you figure out a good setting and then you maybe you want to add your condition later in just to see to make sure that it actually generates first um tags there are triggers there isn't any particular triggers that are basically going on but the last important thing that you want to do is set the actual spawning properties and i have the spawn frequency on chunks set to 40. now generally the Plants will generate really small um, amounts in the nether because it is a cave biome. So you will want to uh, make this number pretty high, uh, set that to 40, and that should help. Uh, the other thing is uh, the patch size. You might want to increase that, but I have it set to 64. The next important thing is to generate plant at any height. So this is important for the nether for sure. Uh, you want to make sure that this is checked and then for the dimension that you want to basically generate in you want to select the nether again there's only three options and then this list if you're using custom bio custom dimensions and you want to set that one for the dimension that you're going to be spawning it in your custom dimension um, you can also spawn it in multiple different types of dimensions just make sure you have the right requirements set uh, restrict biomes, you can also set that to specific biomes in the nether if you wanted to, and that would work too. Additional generation conditions, um, if you wanted to specify a certain uh, height level or something like that, then you could basically add an additional condition, but this will also make it more rare. So keep that in mind when you're actually using the condition. So that's all there is, and um, literally that's all you need to do to make another plant. So hopefully this will help you with your uh, biome generation, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.